Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella and today I'm going to be talking about druidry and why I think I might want to become a druid and how I think I already have become a druid. So it all started back six years ago when I discovered witchcraft. So um, I talked about this in my first video so I won't go into it too much but basically I found witchcraft when I was 10, I loved it, um, I got into fake witchcraft and then I found real witchcraft about a year or two later, I became a witch and then I found Wicca and it went really well with my witchcraft so I decided to be a Wiccan and then this summer I um, started learning about Druidry. So I have known about Druidry a couple of years, for a couple of years, um, the first time I remember properly hearing about it was on this TV show called The Spartacle Mystery which is a CBBC show where all of the parents disappear and all of the kids have to run the world and it's very British, very funny, I highly recommend it, it's really good um, and in it, in the third series I think, there is this um, boy that they meet and he is a druid and you get to see like ley lines um, and him talking about stuff. But I never linked Druid and Pagan together. I didn't know that Druidry was Paganism um, or a form of Paganism. I didn't really think about that before. I didn't really know what Druidry was and when you search it on the internet and you see those of people in white gowns looking kind of scary and midsummerish, it's a bit like, I don't know. But I, I started looking into it more and more and more and I thought, oh my gosh, maybe this is me and maybe this is my EPQ topic. So um, if you don't know, in the UK, when you are 16 to 18, um, you either go to college, you do an apprenticeship or you go to sixth form. And I decided to go to sixth form, do A-levels in biology, chemistry and geography. And I also decided to do an EPQ. An EPQ is an extended project qualification, which is worth half an A-level. So you pick any topic of your choice, like any topic in the whole world that you can write an essay on or you can do something else with and then write a short essay about. Um, and I always knew I was going to do the essay one because my brain just couldn't really think of anything that I would want to do that wasn't an essay. And also I thought learning how to do this essay would really help me for when I go on to university and have to do dissertations. So I thought I would do that. And I thought that the topic would just come to me. And luckily it did because I just kept thinking about Druidry. And the more I learned about it, um, the more I thought Druids, like if we had more of them, then the world would be a much better place. Like climate change wouldn't be as bad. Like people would respect the things they had. They wouldn't throw things away as much. They would be more grateful. They would um, be more compassionate for nature and for other people. So yeah. So then um, I got this book, Path of Druidry. I didn't look that much to find this book. Um, it was recommended by um, Scarlet Ravenswood or something. She's a witchcraft YouTuber because she did a video about Druidry and there's barely any videos about Druidry on YouTube. So I want to be one of the first people to make a series like this because um, I think I'm going to end up making this into a series about my life um, changing as I become a Druid because I think I'm going to do that. And I know there will probably be some people who come on here and they're like, you can't become a proper druid without joining like an order um, and becoming a bard and um, an ovate and then a druid. I don't really know how that system works. I'm still learning about it because I've literally just started my EPQ. I've been at six or a month so far and I've had two EPQ classes. So I haven't, I'm not far into my EPQ. I've just started looking at the subject, but this book, was recommended so I checked it out and the reviews were amazing and I found out that this book um, just tells you how to be a druid like from the beginning um, and just teaches you like little practices that you can add into your life and with every one I read about and I'm only on page on page 14 and there's also pages at the start that aren't counted in that 14 um, and already I can see so much I can talk about on my project and so many things that I want to start doing in my everyday life. So 
yeah, I just think Druidry is just such an amazing path that no one really thinks about. And I don't, I don't know why they don't teach more about paganism in school. Like, in this country, people kind of think, like, um, you have to be one of, like, the main religions um, and, like, no other religion exists. And people think that pagans are just, like, weird people who go and dance around naked in the woods around a fire when some of us are like that but um a lot of us we just love the earth and um we just want to live a peaceful life being grateful for everything that we have um honoring um the gods if you decide to work with gods or um worship the moon people do all sorts of stuff to do with that um following the wheel of the year doing all the sabbats but yeah i don't know why they don't teach about it in schools i don't know why people don't know more about it i think people are just scared of it because it's so different and unconventional but i just absolutely love this world that i discovered when i was like 12. i've stuck with it the last like six years um from like when I was 10 when I discovered witchcraft and it's just completely changed my perspective um I can't wait to keep reading this book like the best way I can describe it is kind of like the way that um Anne like Anne of Green Gables um Anne with an E um looks at the world like she looks at it a, in a different way kind of a druidy kind of way um I don't know, just the way that she has such a wonder for the world, you know, she's just so like, wow, everything that she sees and um, yeah, it's just amazing. I absolutely love it. This isn't an ad for this book, um, but I really do recommend it. I just, I love it, but I'm just like discovering so much more since I picked this up. I feel like um, I have filmed this video already but I, I don't really like the first version I had of it so I'm refilming it now but um, the first video I said a lot about how Wicca wasn't really that good but I think it is if it suits you and it suited me for a couple of years because I have been um, in kind of a place where I couldn't do more I couldn't even like I didn't even celebrate the Sabbaths because I just forgot like witchcraft just came out of my daily life. It was just something that I knew I'd go back to one day, but it was just at the back of my mind because I've had exams, I had COVID, so it's been a bit crazy. Um, but yeah, I feel like Druidry is um, a lot more set and a lot more like, there's a lot of layers to it. There's a lot of history, there's folklore, there's all of the Celtic mythology that you learn about. Um, and it's more of something you study and you learn and if you join one of the organisations then you work your way up and it takes you a couple of years to do it but with Wicca anyone can do it um, some things I read people like really hate on Wicca and I think that's terrible because it's such a great religion I just don't think it resonates with me a lot anymore I feel like it will always still be a part of me like I will still kind of identify as a Wiccan and also as a pagan I think I'll always be like part pagan because um any religion that i think i'll follow in the future if it's not druidry anymore which i think druidry is like my path now um it will always fall under the pagan umbrella also i have a lot of like christian beliefs and things like that but i don't talk about that a lot because christians get a bit you know um because people think you can't be both um you do get christian witches though but i don't know i I love Christianity as well, so I love learning about it um, and stuff like that, but I don't go to church um, and I'm mainly a pagan, Wiccan, Druid thing than Christian, but I, I believe that a lot of the things in the Bible is really positive. There's also the odd thing that just isn't good. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's good that everybody thinks um, like in all of the neighbourhoods I've grown up in, all of the um, like the local area that I've grown up in, people either think you have to be a Christian or an atheist. Um, or if you're one of the other religions, you have to come from somewhere um, like ethnically, you have to be from there, like um, a different country where that religion is 
one of the main religions or it's to do with you have to it has to be in your family but um that causes a lot of gatekeeping and stuff which is not good but yeah most people i have ever met um are either atheist agnostic christian or muslim um i don't think i've met anyone else that falls under a different religion um i have met a pagan um i used to have a friend who um is a pagan um and yeah i don't know but yeah that's all i really have to say for today i probably i think i had a lot more to say that's been on the top of my head lately but as i'm making this a series i think i will just talk about it in like another video um all of the other things because this will kind of turn into like a vlog style series of me studying druidry um implementing all the things i learned into my life teaching you how to be one two and yeah i just can't wait because i've missed vlogging i haven't vlogged in a year because i changed my main channel to a music channel so now all i make is reactions so that's why i love this channel because i can just make what i want like within reason it's mainly witchcraft but um yeah i love it that i can do that um uh, my upload schedule is um not fixed at all um i'm trying not to put any pressure on myself to post but I will at least post once a month. I have four channels, so it's a lot to keep up with. And now I'm studying for my A-levels. Um, I have a lot more things to do. I'm also getting ready to start my first job. So um, yeah, there's a lot going on in my life <laughs> and stuff. So yeah, but um, YouTube is important to me and I want to carry it on as long as I can so yeah I'd, and I love making witchcraft content I mean that's why I started doing um all those years ago when I had Sea of Spells which was um a channel where I did like witchcraft stuff um but then I stopped it um a bit before the pandemic hit but yeah I I just absolutely love making content like this and meeting people online um, who um, have similar paths to me, learning about their lives because we are all over the world, us pagans, Wiccans, Druids. So yeah, it's really nice to have that, to have communities where you can talk to people online. I highly recommend Reddit. Reddit is great at the moment. I've been reading so much Reddit. Um, but yeah, you can just look at what spells people have been casting, um, people's altars lately. And it's just really lovely just to, to see um, people's different crafts and stuff like that. So yes, that's all I have to say for today. Thank you for coming to the woods. Bye.